Hello! Welcome back. I'm writer coach Tony and I'm now doing a series of videos on the on my votes for the Oscars 2021 and I'll be grouping them according to related categories um, so the first two categories I'm going to talk about because there's many categories I don't know how many I think oh, 15 or 17 but anyway uh, the first two categories which I'm going to discuss is uh, the acting categories for the women. No? The actresses, the best actress category and the best supporting actress category. So I'm going to discuss who I'm going to vote and then who I think the Academy will vote for. No? So that will be what this video is all about. Um, let's start with the uh, best supporting actress. Best actress is supporting role. Um, the there were several though. No? Um, um, the pool from which is actress was chosen was uh, a bit large, no. Um, uh, so anyway, the nominees this year are on alphabetical order. We have Maria Bakalova for Borat subsequent movie film, um, Glenn Close for Hillbilly Elegy, Olivia Colman for The Father, Amanda Seyfried for Mank, and Yoon Yoo-jung Yoo Jung Yoon for uh, Minari. And I think the other women who were shortlisted in this category but weren't able to make the top five um, well, my personal favorite this year, Ellen, Ellen Burstyn for Pieces of a Woman and then the Golden Globes choice, um, Jodie Foster for uh, The Mauritanian and uh, Helena Zengel uh, in News of the World. I think there are three of the... Ca uh, and then there's another actress which the critics love no? from Never Sometimes Always but anyway, the movie was didn't get enough traction to get into the the choices of the academy. So anyway, these five actresses were the ones that were, who were eventually chosen. Um, yeah, yeah. Helena, Helena, Helena Zengel was in the SAG nominees, but she didn't make it here. Um, so anyway, eventually the SAG. So how did the critics vote? Um, I mean, how did the other award-giving bodies vote? Uh, Jodie Foster got the nod from the Golden Globes. Um, and then the critics' choice was... Um, what was their choice? Maria Bakalova. Uh, and then, um, yesterday, the SAG Awards gave their choice uh, to Yoo Jong Yoon for Minari. So, in other words, this is a category which is the most exciting because there has no, there has been no consensus on who is going to win. Although the buzz on Yoo Jung Yoon is this has been the strongest going into the, so she might win the BAFTA as well, and then hopefully the Oscars. But as of now, it's uh, in the air now because there's no clear favorite yet. Um, for me, um, if I were an Oscar voter, um, I this year I'll be voting. Well, let's rank them, no. Um, I love all of the performances, so it doesn't mean that if you're not the lowest, uh, yeah, it just means it's the uh, least one I liked. Um, yeah, hmm, number five. Yeah, I think it's a toss-up between Amanda Seyfried and Maria Bakalova. But I think I'll put um, Maria Bakalova in the last, no? For Borat's subsequent movie film. Although I would have loved to put her on top because I love comedies. Uh, but for this group, yeah, she's number five. And then Amanda Seyfried will be in number four for Mank. And then uh, the current favorite, Yoo Jung Yoon will be my number three. Olivia Colman will be my number two for The Father. And then my vote will go to Glenn Close for Hillbilly Elegy. Uh, because I really want her to win an Oscar. <laughs> and uh, 
again I'm trying this time if she you know to vote for her um, and see if she has a chance to win it uh, unfortunately I don't think she will because she has a Razzie for this role so it would be funny if the Oscar voters and the Razzie voters have the same choices so that would be disastrous to her career <laughs> so anyway um, although I loved how she did her role in Hillbilly Energy uh, and again I'm, this is a sentimental vote no? um, because if I really voted um, yeah I don't know anyway for now that will be my vote um, it will go to Glenn Close but I think the Academy you know, as the trending goes and from the buzz from what we see from uh, going into the Oscars which is just like two weeks from now I think the award will go to the Korean actress no? Yoo Jung Yoon she has the best chance in her movie has six nominations and she has the best chance of winning an Oscar among her co-talents who work in the movie um, so I hope she gets it because it will be a big boost to Korean acting and finally because unfortunately last year when Parasite was nominated for or won the Best Picture Award not, not even one of their cast was nominated no? kahit yung daddy man lang sana na nominate for Best Actor but unfortunately none of them were nominated so I think this year having um, Yoo Jung Yoon in the mix uh, could help um, put South Korea again in the forefront no? of um, uh, American, uh, world cinema um, so that's for my best supporting actress for my best actress uh, the nominees are um, hmm. Viola Davis from Arrays Black Bottom Andrew Day the United States versus Billie Holiday um, Vanessa Kirby for Pieces of a Woman uh, Frances McDormand for Nomadland and Carrie Mulligan for Promising Young Woman. Uh, this category was also uh, tight this year. Um, mm -hmm. Although these five actresses are the ones that were really, um, maybe the ones that also ran would be Amy Adams for Hillbilly Elegy, and then maybe Rosamund Pike for I Care A Lot. Um, but otherwise, this is a pretty strong list so these are the ones that we really expected to to be in the top five no? um, so how am I going to vote it's so difficult it is so difficult I, because in a way there's no not one that really speaks to me no? but uh, anyway I'll base my vote on the first um, uh, you know like the gut vote and I think that this year I'll be voting for uh, Vanessa Kirby for Pieces of a Woman I know it's her first role and I think uh, she did this very well though the 20 minute birthing scene is amazing I don't know how she did it but she was so good in it and um, and among all the nominees she was the first movie I watched not Pieces of a Woman um, so even if I saw already, you know, when I saw Nomadland, I was like, oh my god, Francis is so good in this movie. And then actually, uh, although the Screen Actors Guild voted for Viola Davis uh, for Murray's Black Bottom, Viola is very good in the movie. Um, I don't think it's really. Because when you're the best actress, you have to. Uh, because in that movie, she had to have screen time with Chadwick Boseman. And I don't know. In my opinion, Chadwick kind of um, overshadowed her, no? Um, because he really delivered this amazing performance. But anyway, the Screen Actors Guild voted for Viola, so that, that's good enough for me. But in my list, uh, she will be number five, Viola Davis. And the number four will be Carrie Mulligan. I also love her in this movie. And... Um, she, I think she'll be one of the front runners also. No? Promising young woman because I love her role. 
Number three, um, Frances McDormand. She disappears. She is no mad lad. She disappears into the movie, and you think <coughs> um, she has this way of disappearing into her role. No? Number two, I love Under Day, the United States vs. Billy Ho um, Holiday, and then my choice for the best actress, Vanessa Kirby, for Pieces of a Woman. I think it's a close. Vote for me between Andre Day and Vanessa Kirby, but in the end, I stuck to my gut feel, and um, yeah, Vanessa Kirby is my choice. Um, who do I think will the screen actors, the Oscars, vote for? I have a feeling they'll go with the SAG. Now, the SAG chose Viola Davis, I think they'll also cho choose Viola Davis. She already has one Oscar, this will be her second, but her first as a lead actress and I think she deserves it anyway but I will be surprised if Frances McDormand or Carrie Mulligan spring a surprise no? because I don't know again the best actress category and the best supporting actress category this year is so wide open I mean uh, I'm sure everyone will be voting according to their preference and how the movies spoke to them so uh, in my case, I'm choosing Vanessa Kirby for Pieces of a Woman, and I think um, the Academy will vote for Viola Davis for Marines Black Bottom. Well deserved wins for both, even if uh, just in case they both win. I mean, just in case one of them wins. So, anyway, thank you very much for your time. I'll be doing other parts of the Oscar nominees as I finish each of the movies. So, thank you very much. Um, Please subscribe to my channel, Writer Coach Tony, and please follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Twitter. See you soon, everyone. Take care.